We introduced eight kinds of pronouns in the last video and discussed personal pronouns in detail. In this video, we shall discuss reflexive, distributive, reciprocal, demonstrative and interrogative pronouns. We shall cover indefinite and relative pronouns in the subsequent videos. Let's begin. Reflexive pronouns refer to the subject of the sentence and end with self for singular pronouns and selves for plural pronouns. Dhoni shot himself on the foot. They served themselves last. It is also used as a complement of a preposition or as an object of a sentence. I saw myself in the mirror. Here, myself is an object. Kavita wrote a note to herself and herself is a complement of the preposition to. Reflexive pronouns are also used as emphasizing pronouns when the subject, that is personal pronouns, are emphasized. I, myself, felt the tremors. He himself told this. Now, let's move to distributive pronouns. Distributive pronouns such as each, either, neither refer to persons or things taken one at a time. Each took it in turn. Neither can win. Distributive pronouns neither, either, each are used along with of before plural pronouns and countable nouns and take singular verbs. Each of the buildings is surrounded by high metal fencing. Either slash neither of them is suitable for the job. Distributive pronouns neither, either, each are used along with of before plural pronouns and countable nouns and take singular possessive pronouns. Each of them is curious about his result. Either slash neither of the two boys is doing his work. Let's move to reciprocal pronouns. They express a mutual relation between two or more parties or subjects. Each other is used for a group of two or more expressing a mutual relationship between the members. When I interrogated the boys, they started looking at each other. One another is used for a group of more than two expressing not exactly one-on-one -on -one mutual relationship. All the people in India should live in harmony with one another. I hope there is no confusion in understanding each other and one another. Let's try to understand it with help of three people named A, B and C. Now, if I say they are helping each other, that means A is helping B and C, B is helping A and C and C is helping A and B. When we say they help one another, it could mean A helps B, B helps C, but B need not necessarily help A. So there is not one-to-one -one mutual relationship. Let's move to demonstrative pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns, this, that, these, those, are used to point out a particular person, place, thing or idea. This was by far my favorite ride. Those are called hot plates. This is used for referring to singular nouns which are positioned close by. These is used for plural nouns with near references. That is used with singular nouns with distant references. And those is used with plural nouns with distant references. In general, demonstrative pronouns cannot be used to refer to humans, except in introductions. This is my friend, Hari. Or when I am introducing myself on telephone, I can say, Hi, this is Samir. Now, we move to interrogative pronouns. Interrogative pronouns, who, which, whom, what, whose, are used to form questions. Who is used only for persons. Who is knocking at the door. Which can be used for both persons and things. Which are your books. Whom is used only for persons. Whom did you meet in the party. What is used only for things. What do you want? And finally, whose is used only for persons. There is one assignment missing. Whose hasn't been submitted? So that is it for now. In the next video, we shall cover indefinite pronouns.